Hey yo, good morning Epic Squad. What is poppin'? Um, as you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see or not, I had a haircut done. I had it professionally done. I mean, he didn't really even out the front well. Hang on, let me fix up this front area. He didn't really even out the front that well. That, <coughs> that well. But it is professionally done. He said he's been doing barber for 30 some odd years. He didn't really do the front. He took some off the top and he did the sides for me. But yeah, I finally got it professionally done. I'm going to have it professionally done for probably as long as I keep this haircut. I've had it for about two years now. But uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's been a while since I've recorded and uh, some things have gone down. One, as you guys know, uh, like, like, a week and a half ago, I recorded I Got One. It was, uh, me recording me saying I got a cockatiel. And, uh, the cockatiel passed. I don't know how, I don't know how, or why, uh, I'm, I think my dogs accidentally ate it. Uh, it was on, it has a little... It has like a little crate it stays on, but then it also has a cage that it can go into. It can't fly, so uh, at night I pick it up and I put it in the cage, uh, but it can't fly, and I left the room for... Mm, I shouldn't be laughing, I actually fucking am pissed off. I spent... For, uh, honestly, I'm more pissed off that the bird is gone than I spent $300. Like, $300 down the drain, I could give a fuck, I can make that back in a week. But the bird, I actually got really attached to it in the two weeks that I had it. But, uh, I was in my, I was in my, uh, living room, and I said, I better go check on my bird. Mind you, the bird's been alone for about two hours. Uh, I still have Tess, by the way, the, the parakeet. Uh, I decided to come in here and check on him. Because usually I'm in this room all hours of the day, every day just doing stuff, either work on my laptop, videos, or just watching YouTube or something. I'm only in and out of this room for about 30 minutes, because I, oh, sorry, because I gotta watch him. But I come back in here, both of uh, my puppies are on the bed, I haven't filmed the video, but I got two German Shepherd puppies, they're about six, seven months old, and I uh, looked to the crate, where his food bowl, and he was supposed to be there, and he wasn't, and I tore this room from top to bottom, upside down. And there is no sign of him. There is a whole bunch of feathers near uh, his crate. Like maybe, uh, okay, so there's the door. So here's the door. And then, so the door's right here. And then his crate is on this side. So as soon as you walk in, it's on the right side of the door. And when you look left, there's like a little lamp I have set up with light on. So it's like dimmer light. And then that's where he usually just walks around. But, uh... He wasn't there, and I tore him top, I t not tore him, I tore this room top to bottom to find him. But I think my dogs ate him. I'm not going to be that weird bird guy, I'm not going to get any more birds. Test, I'm taking the best, like, at first I was just like feeding Test every day and making sure he was alright. But once Maverick and Max died, I started treating Test a lot more like he was more of like, I don't know, my child instead of a bird. I started giving him way more attention. And then once I got the cockatiel, I started giving him a little less attention because like, eh, they can play, they're, they're both the birds. But then now that a cockatiel is gone, I got, I'm, I'm just making sure test is the perfect, like, when I exit the room, I come back in here five minutes later and I make sure he's in here. I make sure he's fine. I'm a little more trustworthy with test because he can fly. Because he can actually, his wings ain't clipped, he can fly if something happens. But, uh, looks like we're uh, rocking the road with a parakeet. Um, I'm gonna try and train him. And, honestly, he doesn't bite as hard. Like, he bites and he can get a good one that doesn't hurt that bad. But the cockatiel fucking hurts so bad. But I still love the bird. But it's gone. I'm not gonna get another bird if test. Hopefully he doesn't, but if he does end up dying... I can't do anything about it. I'm not a bird specialist. It's it's not it's most likely my fault because I've never had birds before. But there's nothing I can do. Hey, you win some, you lose some. 
Uh, when I first found out, I was pissed that he was dead. Um, I don't show emotions for, as in, like, a lot of people show emotions for, like, crying and stuff. I show emotions of being pissed. Like, I get pissed off when I'm, uh, emotion when I'm brain fucked or emotionally fucked. I get pissed. And, uh, I hate it. But, I thought I'd update you guys on that. And, um, uh, I had, I'm pretty sure the dogs ate him. Which is sad, and I, I... First, I thought he got out the window because I put a fan in the window, but those that hole right there is that hole right there is way too small. I barely can fit my finger in there. It's way too small for him to get out. And I plugged all the other holes so he can't get out. Like there was a big gaping hole there. I just stuck some clothes in it. That is not supposed to be there. But uh, it's the simple fact of I because when I came in here. Uh, both of the dogs were laying on the bed facing towards the crate, looking at the crate, and when I opened the door, they looked up at me, so I'm pretty sure that the reason was gone. But, you win some, you lose some, I'll, I'll, I'll get a bird back eventually. I don't know, maybe, I want to give myself, like, maybe a year or two before I get another bird, just get some more knowledge about them, because... I went in grabbing parakeets having no knowledge, they were very messy, they weren't as loud as the cockatiel, the cockatiel wasn't even loud, like when he squawked he was really loud, but he didn't, really, they don't really squawk that much, but I, but I went into getting birds not even knowing a damn thing about them, and I started out with the easiest bird to take care of, which is a, a parakeet, and a lot of people say, don't get a small cage, my bird has a small cage, I wouldn't say it's for say, too small, but it's not massive. If you take a look, this is his cage. He's right there. It is really small. He's never in this cage. This door is open 24-7 every day, every night. It's open all the time. Day in, day out, all the time. Only time he's in this cage is if he wants to play with his toys. If he wants to shred on his little ladder thingy. If he wants to climb up and down. Or if he wants to eat or drink, and there he goes flying around. Uh, that's the only time he's in the cage. The rest of the time, he's either playing on this little thing, or coming under here and lifting this little door up, or he's going up that little string and uh, shredding on the top of that, and, or he's just flying around. He's never in this cage. Yeah, people say, like, this is a carry size cage. They put him in and carry, carry him around like a travel cage. This is perfect size because he's never in it. Like, used to, he was in it all the time. But once that all the other birds passed and I didn't have a whole lot of birds to round up, I... He's never in it. He's, like, never in it. Never. Like, I'm never going to shut the door. The only time he's in it, or the only time I'm going to shut the door is when, like, windows are open or where he can get out. But he's never in this. And, uh... Yeah. He's ha he actually, for, like, a lot of homemade stuff toys are for in here like I put this little string in here can you guys see I put this little string in here so that way he can play with it uh the door he just he found this out and he grabs it and just like does this with it all day and then uh the little string that is draping in there right now this little one right here see a little that is actually from where I tied him up not him I tied his cage up that way he's like a little suspended off the ground but yeah he has fun on his own. He if he wants to hang out, he'll let me know. He'll squawk like 30, 40 times and annoy me. But if he doesn't, he'll do his own thing. But yeah, thought I'd let you guys know that the cockatiel got eaten by a fucking dog, and it pisses me off. But that isn't a wrap up the video. Uh, I really do miss that bird. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you do like, subscribe, turn on post notifications that way you never miss a new video. And I'll see you guys in another video.